In this demo, I want to show you how to use the flesh scope to color correct video. Here we have a series of images in the Final Cut timeline, which represent various skin types from very dark to very light. Now, although these skin types may look very, very different, when we look at them under the flesh scope over here, you can see that all of these skin types register near the center. Now, this happens because all these videos are properly color corrected. If we remove the flesh scope for a second and we start adjusting the color by making this more reddish, we go back and we can look at the flesh scope and we can see that the data is no longer centered when we apply the color correction. If we start making other adjustments, we can make the flesh tones a little bit too much more, more green, as you can see, and the uh, the flesh scope also drops down away from the center. If we bring everything back uh, to the center where things are color corrected, as you can see, the flesh tones now register near the center of the flesh scope. So let's take a look at some video over here which badly needs some color correction. So we first apply the three-way color corrector, and then we take V-scope signals and drag it out of the effects filter list into the final cut clip that we want to color correct. And uh, we bring it up in the viewer and we select the flesh scope. And as you can see in this clip, there really are no flesh tones. It looks like the wall behind the person is actually in the flesh tones range. So let's take off uh, the overlay scope and let's look at this video for a second. Now this video is very, very orange. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is orange is over here in this range, and we wanna take it and move it from orange to more of a, you know, by dragging it over here, we can move it away from orange. And as we do this, as you can see the flesh tones start to appear in the video, or it looks like some flesh tones are appearing. You can see how the, the lines drop away. And over here, it looks about, about optimal. Looks pretty good, huh? Well, now that looks good in the flesh scope, but what does it look like now when we take the overlay flesh scope off? As you can see, the video is pretty much color corrected. This is what we started with, and this is what we ended up with just by using the flesh scope as a guide for color correction. And that's how you use the flesh scope to color correct video.